The University of Manchester's PCB Lab uses a photochemical process to produce prototype printed circuit boards on request by students and staff. The designs submitted for production must adhere to restrictions for the production process to be a success. In this video we'll look at the production process and highlight the stages where your designs have direct impact. The process requires you to create designs using an Altium template which are then transposed into Gerber files. For efficiency, multiple designs are combined onto a single production panel which when completed is split into individual boards. It's more cost effective to process boards in this way but it might mean you have to wait for the panel to fill up before the process is started to polish the surface of the copper making sure it's clean. It's then visually inspected to make sure the plating process was a success. The plated board now has photoresist film applied in a laminating machine. The photoresist film hardens when exposed to UV light and remains soluble where it's covered by opaque areas of the transparency. The top and bottom photofilm masks are applied to the board using the drill holes to accurately align them. If the design has tracks and pads beneath the minimum size and clearances, aligning the transparency becomes unreliable. The board is then exposed to ultraviolet light, which hardens the areas of the photoresist layer that aren't covered by the opaque areas of the transparency. The hardening makes the photoresist resistant to the etching process and the process is then repeated for the bottom layer. The board is then passed through a developer machine to wash off the areas which haven't been exposed to UV light. It's then rinsed to wash away any remaining loose film. A visual check is done for any remaining resist film, broken tracks or other imperfections. The board is then put through a ferric chloride etching tank which chemically removes the copper not protected by the hardened resist film. There's the possibility of slight bleed of the acid under the protective film which can cause breaks in the tracks if they're beneath the minimum specified width. If the minimum pad size is not adhered to then there's a possibility that the drill holes will not be protected adequately and the through hole copper plating can be washed out in the etching process. The etched board is washed and visually inspected before being put in a bath of resist stripper to remove the hardened film. The board is then dipped in a tinning bath which coats the copper with tin, preventing oxidisation and making it easier to solder. The board is removed from the tinning bath and rinsed before being dried.